Hey guys, today we're going to be doing quite a quick and easy mod. Um, as you can see, I'm using glass clart as a theme, and there is no slider text down the bottom. So what we're going to do today, we're going to make some slider text. Uh, basically, we're going to create it as a winterboard theme. That way, uh, one, you can turn it on and off if you like. Two, you're not going to be messing around with any of the system files, so if you muck it up, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to need, obviously, is a jailbroken iPhone and either iFile, which is an app you can get from Cydia and basically allows you to make changes to the system uh, file system on the go just on your phone, or you'll need uh, an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP, something along those lines. And if you are going to use that, you'll also need a program on your iPhone itself called OpenSSH and that allows the uh, FTP client to um, log into your phone basically and make changes. So I'll personally be using iFile just so um, I can do it on the go. I do love this program, it makes things very easy and also I can show you straight on the screen what's going on here. Um, it will be very similar for FileZilla, um, probably a little less work actually because you don't have to, you can just do it all with the mouse. So here we go. First of all, open up our file obviously. <clears throat> I'll just go back to show you from the very start. So basically you have to get into the root directory of your iPhone um, and like I said this will look very similar on the uh, FileZilla or FTP client. So what we're going to do is scroll down to VAR, the folder at the bottom there, scroll down again and look for stash. Let's bring that up. Down again you'll see themes followed by a bunch of letters. Uh, that's different for every phone but as long as it says themes at the start there. And this is going to show you all the themes that you can see in Winterboard. So what we're going to do um, in FileZilla, FTP client, just make a new folder. I file we have to go up to edit down the bottom left of plus and we give it a name so this one this is going to be the name that appears in winterboard so let's call it get fact uh, slider text something as long as it stands out so you know what you've actually done in winterboard create so make sure it's a directory obviously same as a file if you're doing it on the computer uh, sorry a folder so we go done to that scroll down you can see the get fact slider text so we'll go into that so this is where you have to follow along word for word basically so we're going to go edit again add and we're going to make a brand new folder this time it has to be called bundles with a capital B so we're going to make that right there make sure it's a directory obviously create that go done then we're going to go into bundles <clears throat> we're going to make another one so edit add this time it will be called all lowercase com dot apple dot springboard oh, and I said all lowercase so you just change that here we go com dot apple dot springboard and again it's a folder so create done go into that one so once you've created that one we're gonna make one more folder and that is gonna be called all lowercase again E N dot L P R O J. Um, so make sure that is a lowercase L, it's not an uppercase I or a one or anything like that. Create that folder. So once we've done that, that's the last folder we'll have to create. We go into the E N dot L P R O J and in there we're gonna make a file this time. So edit on iFile, add, and we change the type to regular file. If you're in um, FileZilla or any other FTP client, you can just make a, a word file or something like that. Sorry, a, a text file. This one we're actually going to call, so make sure this is the same again. We're going to have Spring with a capital S, then Board with a capital B, dot strings. Uh, I don't know if it is case sensitive, but this works, and I'm not going to bother wasting my time finding out if it doesn't. So let's go ahead and create that. You'll see that you've got a file there called springboard.strings. So we're going to go into that. In iFile you will get a message saying basically it, this file can't be empty. So we're going to go close and then we're actually going to edit it so it's not empty anymore. So what we're going to start off with is double quotation marks and then all capitals away underscore lock underscore again and then label L A 
B E L. Finish your quotation marks. Then we're going to go space equals space. Sorry, not double equals space. And then after the second space, double quotations. And then it's after these quotations that you can put whatever name you want in. So in our case, let's put nice and simple get fact and you're going to finish with quotation marks again and then you're going to end the line with a semicolon so that's it so it's uh, double quotations away underscore lock underscore label all in capitals and quotations space equals space quotations whatever you want to say in the slider obviously there is a limited amount of space so make it short uh, quotation marks again after the phrase and then semicolons. So we're going to save that. We're going to go done. And that's it basically. So we've made all that. So we can close out of our file or whatever. And then we're going to go into Winterboard. Wait for that to open up. Select themes. And there it is. Get fact slider text. So one we just created. So what we're going to do, select that. Make sure it's above everything else so it takes precedence over the other themes. And we're going to go ahead and respring, and we'll be back in a second once it's resprung. Okay, we're back, guys. So it's resprung. <clears throat> Let's have a look, see what happens. So there you go, down the bottom side of text with exactly what we put in. Get facts, beautiful. So that's all there is to it. Nice and easy one to get you started. Um, what you will notice as well that if you're using glass cloud, and it may happen on other things too, is that I do have the spotlight going across the text. That doesn't happen as standard on glass cart, so in another video I'll show you another quick mod on how to uh, get the spotlight back up on the text. Thanks for watching guys and remember to check out the website. Cheers.